There's a reason ancient sailors spoke of sea monsters. Some of those tales weren't exaggerations. Millions of years ago, a real-life nightmare stalked the oceans. One so powerful, so ferocious, it may have stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Megalodon itself. But this isn't just another extinct whale. This is Liviatan Melvilli, a predator so brutal it vanished with almost no trace. So what really happened to this giant killer? And could it have actually won a fight against the most fearsome shark that ever lived? In 2008, a Dutch researcher stumbled onto something strange in the Peruvian desert. It wasn't a skeleton buried under jungle vines or frozen in ice. It was a skull lying in what was once the ocean floor. And this skull didn't belong to any ordinary whale. Its teeth were the first giveaway. Massive, conical, bone-crushing. Some longer than a man's forearm, and the jaw fragments hinted at an animal with a bite force powerful enough to snap through rib cages. Scientists were floored. This was no gentle giant. It was a killing machine. At first, they named it Liviatan Melville, a nod to the biblical sea beast and the author of Moby Dick, Herman Melville. But there was a catch. The name Leviathan had already been claimed by an extinct mastodon, so they re-spelled it in Hebrew. Liviatan Melville, same beast, new name, and what a beast it was. The fossil was found in the Pisco Formation of Peru, a hotspot for ancient marine life. This region has yielded some of the best preserved fossils of whales, dolphins, seals, and even penguins. But nothing quite like Liviatan had ever emerged before. The discovery shook the paleontological community. They weren't just looking at a large whale, they were staring into the past at one of the top predators of the ancient seas. This wasn't your average sperm whale. Modern ones feed by suction, rarely using their teeth. But Liviatan? It broke all the rules. It had a full set of upper and lower teeth, each thick, rooted, and deadly sharp. This whale didn't slurp up squid. It tore flesh. Scientists grouped it among the macroraptorial sperm whales, a terrifying family built for speed and violence. Its snout was short and broad, perfect for focusing bite force. Massive muscles wrapped around the skull. Every part of its anatomy screamed predator. Unlike modern whales, which often rely on passive feeding techniques or gentle filtering, Liviatan was a throwback to a different era. One where apex predators hunted with precision and raw strength. Its presence alone would have reshaped the food web, forcing other species to evolve faster, grow bigger, or flee further. The fact that such a killer evolved within the sperm whale lineage, a family we typically associate with deep diving, squid-eating giants, was shocking. It revealed that whales, far from being one-dimensional creatures, had a deep and diverse evolutionary history. The skull alone measured over three meters long. That's bigger than most cars. And those infamous teeth? Some measured over 30 centimeters. The strongest teeth sat right where the bite pressure peaked, around the fourth to sixth position in the jaw. Tooth wear patterns showed regular contact with hard surfaces, likely bone. These weren't decorative. Liviatan didn't just grip, it ripped. Some paleontologists believe it could shear off chunks of meat with every snap. Think of a killer whale, but scaled up, armored in muscle, and fueled by primal aggression. The roots of the teeth were deep and cylindrical, anchored firmly into the jawbone. This structure allowed for intense mechanical stress, perfect for tackling large, thrashing prey. The enamel was thick, polished from use, and in some cases showed signs of repeated impact against dense tissue or bone. This was not a whale that fed cautiously, it fed violently. But brute force wasn't its only weapon. The asymmetrical shape of Liviatan's skull hints at echolocation, like modern toothed whales. It likely hunted in dark or murky waters, tracking movement with sound. Even stranger was the massive supracranial basin on its head. In modern sperm whales, this holds the spermaceti organ, used for buoyancy, echolocation, and even headbutting. Liviatan had something similar, but even larger and positioned differently. Could it have used it to amplify sonic blasts, to communicate across vast distances, or to ram prey and rivals with devastating force? There's even speculation that it used sonic stunning techniques, overloading a prey animal's senses with powerful sound waves. This could paralyze or disorient a target just long enough for Liviatan to close in for the kill. While this remains a theory, 
the whale's anatomy strongly supports some advanced sensory capability. Whatever the function, it wasn't just for show. This was a sophisticated hunter that used sound, strength, and strategy. So what did Liviaton hunt? Small fish and squid weren't worth the effort. It went after bigger targets, mid-sized whales, dolphins, seals, maybe even large sharks. Some ancient whale fossils bear bite marks eerily similar to Liviaton's dental profile. It may have even targeted flippers and tail bases to cripple its prey, similar to how orcas attack today. A quick deep bite in just the right spot, and the chase was over. Whether it hunted in pods or alone, we're not sure. But either way, it were ease. It rarely missed a meal. In an environment filled with baleen whales ranging from 6 to 10 meters long, Liviaton had no shortage of prey. These were slow-moving, blubber-rich animals, ideal targets for a predator that needed massive amounts of energy to survive. Isotope analysis from fossilized teeth supports this. It shows that Liviaton fed at the top of the food chain, much like killer whales and great white sharks today. It wasn't just one of many predators. It was the apex predator. But what about Megalodon? The name alone sends chills down your spine. A 60-foot shark with teeth like steak knives and a bite force that could crush a car. Could these two have crossed paths? Fossil evidence suggests they may have shared territory. Megalodon teeth have been found in Peru, Chile, and other places where Liviatan remains surfaced. If they did encounter each other, it might not have ended in battle, but in brutal competition. Both targeted the same prey, both were apex predators, and while a full-grown Liviaton may have matched Megalodon in size and strength, juvenile whales were vulnerable. Megalodon may have picked off the young, but one thing's certain, if they ever clashed, it would have been one of the most violent showdowns in Earth's history. Imagine two titans of the sea, one armed with slicing, serrated teeth, and the other with bone-crushing jaws, circling a shared hunting ground. The tension alone would have been immense. Battles may have erupted over whale carcasses or hunting territory, with the loser limping away or worse, becoming the meal. Even if they avoided conflict, their presence would have created an intense rivalry, where both species had to evolve smarter hunting techniques or risk extinction. Yet even apex predators aren't invincible. Around five million years ago, Liviaton began to vanish. Climate change cooled the oceans, Prey species moved or evolved. New predators, like the ancestors of modern orcas, emerged. Some whales grew larger, migrated further, or dove deeper, becoming harder to hunt. And warm, nutrient-rich coastal zones, Livia Tan's prime hunting grounds, began to disappear. Without enough prey and stable habitats, the mighty whale faced extinction. It's also possible that competition from megalodon and other raptorial whales hastened its decline. As the oceans changed, being massive and muscular wasn't enough. Agility, cooperation, and adaptability started to matter more. Traits that Liviaton may not have possessed in the same way. Fossils of similar whales have been found dating a few million years later, suggesting that the lineage lingered on briefly. But the true apex form of Liviaton was gone replaced by smaller, more flexible species better suited to a changing world. Livy Yatin Melvilli might be gone, but its legacy rewrote everything we thought we knew about whales. For decades, whales were seen as passive filter feeders or squid suckers. Liviatin proved they could be something else entirely. Bone-crushing predators with jaws designed for violence. It was smart, strategic, and savage. A reminder that even the ocean's most majestic creatures have a dark side. And though we may never witness a battle between Liviaton and Megalodon, the very idea that such monsters once roamed the same waters is enough to send chills down your spine. Its discovery changed the narrative of marine evolution. It forced scientists to consider the full range of possibilities for what whales could become. And it showed us that the ocean, even millions of years ago, was a battleground for the boldest, strongest, and most brutal hunters. A true sea monster, lost to time, but never forgotten.